So we're on to the second part of this example question on buffer calculations and this is going to be the bit where we add some HCL to the buffer solution and see what happens to the pH. So the first part of the question was what's the pH of a buffer solution containing 0.1 molar ethanoic acid and 0.1 molar sodium ethanoate and uh, using the pKa of ethanoic acid being 4.75 we worked out that the pH of that buffer solution would be 4.75 because the concentrations of those two are the same and the question uh, now is what is the buff solutions its pH after the addition of 10 centimeter cubed of one mole per decimeter cubed HCl to one decimeter cubed of the solution so we would expect the pH to go down because you've added some acid but not too much because this is a buffer solution so uh, just representing this in a little picture, here we've got a decimeter cubed of the buffer solution. We're going to add 10 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. So previously, how did we uh, work out the pH? Well, we worked it out using uh, this equilibrium between the weak acid uh, forming some H plus and then a Ka being equal to products over reactants and then rearranging this for H. Um, I've added the, the log part here as well. So pH is uh, pKa plus and then P of the uh, ratio of the acid to the salt. But as you can see, we effectively worked it out from the Ka value and then the concentrations of uh, the weak acid and its uh, corresponding salt uh, because we had the, those things and we could work them out. Uh, now we've added some HCl. So how do we work out the pH now well we've added some extra H plus so perhaps we could work out the concentration of this H plus and then get the pH but uh, if we were to do that the buffer actually wouldn't be doing its job at all that would just be like adding H plus to water so let's have a look what actually happens when HCl is added to the buffer solution and what happens is that in this case the salt CH3CO minus can make a new bond to that H plus and here's the product and there is a new bond to uh, the hydrogen and the H plus has been absorbed. So to work out the pH, well, we can still use this Ka is uh, the CH3CO minus multiplied by H plus divided by the concentration of the weak acid. But we just have to take into, a fact, uh, uh, into account the fact that the CH3CO minus has gone down slightly because one of these got sort of used up reacting with an H plus and the CH3COOH has gone up very slightly because uh, we've now formed a new uh, amount of, of the weak acid. So let's have a look at the actual quantities involved. How many moles of HCl are added? Well, it's 10 centimeter cubed of one molar. So the concentration times volume over 1,000, one times 10 over 1,000 is a 0.01 moles of HCl acid. And because it's a strong acid, that means 0.01 moles of H plus have been added. OK, and what have they been added to? Well, we were told that we had a one decimeter cubed of the solution. So uh, here's the equation of the weak acid and its salt. It's in a one to one ratio. And initially uh, in the buffer solution, it was a concentration of uh, 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed for the uh, weak acid. And both of these are the same for, for the uh, conjugate base. There's the volume because it's uh, one decimeter cubed. So we can work out that the number of moles of the weak acid was 0.1. The number of moles of the uh, CH3CO minus was also 0.1. But then after the H plus has been added, then we get a little bit more of the uh, weak acid formed by an amount of the H plus that was added. And that was 0.01 from the previous slide. So that goes up slightly. And then for the uh, CH3CO minus that's gone down slightly because that's the one which has reacted and absorbed with the H plus so we can see that the amount of acid that's the weak acid has been increased by the amount of the H plus acid added and the amount of uh, base is reduced by the amount of the H plus added it's worth bearing in mind that a buffer works not just when you add a bit of H plus um, as in this case but also if you added some OH minus if you added some OH minus these would kind of be the other way around that would be a subtract and that would be a plus so uh, finally, to work out the pH, we can now work out the uh, new concentration of the weak acid uh, now 0.11 moles and uh, of the conjugate base is now 0.09 moles. Divide by the volume to get a concentration. Now, the volume has actually gone up slightly because um, it was one decimeter cubed of the original volume of the buffer and then we've added 10 centimeter cubed of the acid. In fact, this doesn't matter. They're going to uh, they're going to cancel in the next equation because the equation which we use for the pH is pH is pKa plus P and then the ratio of these two concentrations. So there's the pKa and uh, P is minus log. 
and there is the concentration of uh, weak acid. There's the concentration of the conjugate base, and as you can see, those two would cancel out. And when we work out this value, it goes to 4.66. So the pH has gone down from 4.75 to 4.66 but not very much. So the buffer has resisted change in pH on addition of a small amount of acid.